Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at this set. It's a dinosaur fighter combined robot transforming set. This is a very cheap uh, knockoff set to obtain. And uh, wait a minute, what's that? And is that concept artwork from the game? So, taking a look through the front of the box, you can see we've got a green and yellow Velociraptor. We've got a red pterosaur here. We've got a brown Pachycephalosaurus there. And then over in the corner, we've got a purple and yellow Dimetrodon. So we've got all the classics. On the back, we've got all the dinosaurs in there. All the dinosaurs in their robot modes. So we've got the Velociraptor down here, and in his robot mode, he's called Overlord. Completely the wrong paint scheme, but oh well. Then we've got the pterosaur here, um, called Pterosaur, quite an original name. We've got the Dimetrodon called Spinal, and then we've got the Pachycephalosaurus called Viceroy. And these are supposed to combine, I imagine, although I can't see how. And this has been made by By and Large, the greedy consumer brand from Wall-E. Introducing the all-new Wall-E from By and Large. So all that remains is to get this Super Spy Master Transfiguration series out of the packaging. So here are all the Phyto Combiners out of the packaging. And unfortunately they're made from this really cheap plastic. Uh, if you're wondering about the badge inside the packaging, it's just a sticker. Huzzah! So let's kick this off by looking at the yellow and green Velociraptor. It's made from this very cheap and hollow plastic. Um, a lot of the kibble is on display, uh, which means that a lot of the robot mode is on display in its dinosaur mode. Kind of makes it look a little bit like a sort of dinosaur bikini. Um, not too pleasant, but it's okay. The sculpt is actually pretty good. You can see there's quite a lot of scale sculpted detail and folds in the skin. And uh, the teeth have been individually sculpted. Uh, in terms of articulation, you can move the neck backwards and forwards. You can open the jaw. Um, his arms do pivot and come off. <laughs> Uh, so they are a little bit loose and it's not the best uh, quality control on this thing. You can see his legs go backwards and forwards and out. And uh, he does have very loose uh, toe claws as well. Very nicely sculpted tail and it can pivot. Although there seems to be multiple pivots and that's due to the transformation. And on the tail here, you can pull out the spear, which looks like this. Okay, time to transform this guy into his robot mode. So here is the Raptor in his robot mode. And actually he looks pretty good in this mode. I've taken the liberty of taking this backpack piece off because if you look at the back here, this part actually originally was inserted in here and was supposed to peg into the back, but actually it didn't fit into the peg at all. So I just took it off. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I think he looks better without it. Taking a closer look at the Raptor Overlord, he's got a really impressive colour scheme. I like this use of copper and also the use of yellows and bright greens. I think that's really nice. I also like the use of this turquoise silver on the faceplate and also down on the side of the legs here. I think that works really well. In terms of articulation, his head can turn a full 360. His arms can turn a full 360. He twists at the shoulder. He can also bend at the elbow. And his fingers are articulated, although they're very floppy indeed. Uh, he can bend at the thigh, although it's quite a short thigh. And then he can bend at the knee. He can also bend at the ankle. And also he's got these little toe claws on the back for stability, so he can stand up. So although he's uh, well articulated, this guy is very floppy and uh, is not great. This raptor also comes with a sword, which plugs into the peg holes on either hand. And as you can see on here, it's got a little semicircle of plastic. And that just plugs in here, like so. And then he's got a sword. I have the power. Next up, we've got the Pachycephalosaurus, also known as Viceroy. And he's got quite a nice little paint job. He's got some nicely painted scales along the back and a nice yellow domed head, which is quite shiny. And that will come into play in a minute. He does have quite a lot of kibble showing, so again, he does look like he's wearing some form of dinosaur bra. Here's a closer look at the Pachycephalosaurus, and weirdly enough, he has webbed hands. I'm not sure why, but he's a very nice sculpt overall. It's pretty obvious that lots of parts have been stolen from the uh, Velociraptor. 
They've been cast from the same mould apart from the head and it comes with the same spear in the tail. But I've only got some weird blue bits underneath. But overall it looks pretty good. You can open his jaw. Rawr. Okay, so let's get this guy transformed. Viceroy in robot mode is pretty similar to the Raptor really, also in transformation it's, it's pretty much the same. I've taken off the backpack piece here because it doesn't peg in, so we might as well just throw that across the table and take a look at this. So the head crest, the actual the, the bony part of the head has become the chest plate, which is why it's like a shiny yellow and I think that works quite well. He is still a little bit loose and you can see his fingers are dangly so the articulation is not tight enough really. Uh, but he looks pretty good, um, he looks pretty good on the back as well, and um, I really like these touches of metallic blue, I think they look pretty good, so yeah, overall he looks pretty good. You can also put the head up, like this, and turn him into a dinosaur man, which looks good. Rawr! Here's a closer look at him with his robot head, and actually I think the head design is pretty cool, he looks pretty good there. And there's overall some nice details on this one. I think in terms of the appearance, this is probably the best looking one. And I love those blue metallic parts. It's just a shame that the plastic feels very cheap. Because it feels like it is going to break in my hands. But the look of it is cool. In terms of articulation, you can twist the head a full 360. Unfortunately with this one it catches on the front for some reason, so you have to twist it a bit harder. Um, you can move the arms in and out, you can twist at the shoulder. You can bend at the elbow, you can also rotate the fingers, although they're really floppy. And then uh, you can bend the thigh, you can bend the knee, you can twist the thigh, you can bend at the ankle, and you can also bend that toe claw as well for stability. Now he also comes with a sword, like the Raptor, which plugs into the little semicircle of plastic. And you just put that in there, it's quite tight on this side but it's the same sword that the raptor has so actually we can take the raptor's sword and plug it into the other hand and then he'll have two swords which I think looks pretty cool looks like he's almost got like drill hands <laughs> onto the Dimetrodon also known as Spinal here he is and he does have these little robot legs poking out from underneath which makes him look like he is pooping a man but uh, there's not much we can do about that. It's just the robot kibble. He's got different legs on each side, different posed legs. So it does actually look like he's in a sort of mid-stride pose, which is quite cool. And I like the use of gold as well as the red eyes here. Taking a closer look at the sculpt, it's quite detailed. A bit reminiscent of Godzilla. And his jaw does open and close. I like these touches of gold on the spine, very nice. And you can see the little man emerging from his rear end there. You can see there's some nice teeth going along the spine there. It's obviously going to split in two. But not a bad little sculpt. Okay, time to get this guy into his robot mode. Spinal is probably the weakest figure in this line, mainly because his body is just this single block colour of yellow. Um, and you can see here he's got one shield on this side and another shield on that side. I'm not sure if he's supposed to beat people over the head with his tail, but it doesn't seem like he has a weapon. So here he is on the other side, he's lacking a bit of detail. I just think he looks pretty naff. In terms of articulation, you can rotate the head a full 360. His shoulders are on ball joints, as are his elbows. So you can't twist at the shoulder, but it is a ball joint, so you get a lot of movement there. Also the thighs, so you can actually make him do the splits. Hey, there we go. And also there's a ball joint at the knee and also at the foot as well. So he's not as well articulated as his brothers, but uh, he's not too bad. It's just a shame about this dino rear end. Next up, we've got the pterosaur and he's a pterosaur. Now he's got very stumpy little wings and uh, quite a giant body. Uh, but he's got some nice painted details, and overall the sculpt isn't too bad if you overlook the massive misproportioning. Taking a closer look at the pterosaur, he's got quite a nice sculpt. His scales are a little bit square and regular, but you can forgive that. He's got some nice splashes of green along the back and along the wings and head. And also he's got a nice painted eye there. 
His jaw is articulated, so you can open him up, get him screaming. Pretty cool. It's just a shame that he's made out of this really lightweight, sort of cheap plastic. Underneath, we've got a load of kibble here, so it does look like there's a little folded robot man underneath. While Pterosaur takes a little break on the table, let's get him transformed! Pterosaur is actually a really good little figure. For his size, he transforms into something that looks very impressive indeed. I really like his stance. And also, I love this mechanism with the head here. You see that if I pull the head down, you can see the tail folds back up, and that's how you transform him. So actually, he's got a cool little mechanism uh, built in there as well. Unfortunately, I can't make my dinosaur man because the head is on the back. So this one is the only exception from the team. Taking a closer look at Pterosaur, his head sculpt is actually pretty nice, and his chest armor is decent also. His arms, unfortunately, do lack detail. It would be nice if they painted the fists. but uh, And also on the wings there as well, it's lacking a lot of detail. There are some veins, but that's about it. I suppose it's not as bad as the Walking with Dinosaurs figure that we reviewed recently on the channel. Uh, link to that one down below. And also the leg sculpts don't look too bad as well. On the back, we've got the pterosaur body. And that's the only downside about this figure, is that it does look like he's kind of carrying a dead dinosaur on his back. But uh, I suppose that's inevitable, really, considering how small his body is compared to the dinosaur. In terms of articulation, his head can turn a full 360. It's a bit tight, though. And then his shoulders are on ball joints, as are his elbows. And they're all a little bit loose and dangly. Um, he's also got ball joints for the thighs. Same as spinal, really, and same for the knees. They're on ball joints, as are the feet. So here are all the fighter combiners together, and uh, I've changed the three that are able to into dino men, because I think they look much better. What's really disappointing about this set is that they don't actually combine into anything. I mean, it would be great if they combined into a dinosaur or a bigger robot, but no, they're all separate, so why call them fighter combiners? But oh well. I still think they look really good, and also I like the fact that they originally were dinosaur shaped, a bit like the old Beast Wars sets that used to be available, but I would recommend that you absolutely do not buy this set. It's made of cheap plastic, it was very cheap, I mean it was under £10, so I didn't expect too much from it, but I thought it would make an entertaining review, and you can see these guys transformed. Okay guys, uh, do you own these already? Have you seen them? Uh, in shops, they're usually quite cheap, so let me know if you have. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.